we got sent this power station by a company for camping and stuff like that. It already comes charged and ready to use. So let's check it out. Ooh. Right here in this pocket, I just pulled this out. They're stimpy. Not sure exactly what this is. We're about to see. Oh, charging cable. It's for your car. Charging cable for your car. And this is for a wall. Yep. So that's all the charging stuff that comes with it. And there is the actual power station itself. Okay, I finally got it out the box. This thing is heavy. You'd be surprised how heavy this thing actually is. But all those charging stuff we're not going to need right now because it's like I was saying, it's already charged. So, let's go ahead and get all the plastic off of it. So here it is. This thing is pretty heavy. So I'm pretty sure it has a wireless charger. Look, it has a handle right here. But this right here is a wireless phone charger. Pretty sure you set your phone on that. And you can plug up a fan to it, lights, stuff like that. Just different things that you want power to run to. You can plug up to this. Okay, here's the on button. So, so, so yeah, it's already charged. Let's see if it wireless charges my phone. Cause some of them do it with the case. Not sure if this one does it with the case on. Wait, you gotta press the wireless charger button, and it works. Look at that. It's charging. So that's awesome. Yeah, it works. Wireless charging. So I'm gonna try to plug up a fan to it and stuff, different things like that. All right, we still have the phone plugged up. Let's see if it charges my phone, and you can do a fan. So the fan's right here. Let's see. Oh, gotta press this button. I think. Okay, I got to work. See the fans on. So I'm pretty sure you have to hold this button down to turn the AC switch on, but yeah, I got it on. It works. So now let's try to plug up my a phone charger to this right here to work with phone charger. Before we get my charger cord, let's see if it does the fan while charging, wireless charging my phone. It does. So you can put something in the outlet and charge your phone with it at the same time. Alright, we got the cord. We're just going to leave the fan on just to see if it does everything else. Charges everything else and all that while it still has the fan on. But let's turn the wireless charging off. Let's see if it will charge my phone through the cord while doing using the fan. Yep charging my phone too. Also we have this flashlight with the charger so let's see if it also charges the flashlight. Yes, it's charging the flashlight too. It's hard to see if this flashlight flashlight is charging because it has like this little LED you probably won't see it in the light but as you can see it charges multiple things and powers multiple things at once so you could I mean you could charge four phones 
just get three cords and you can put a phone up here. You can charge three phones. You can do a combination of phones, flashlights, but and a bunch of different things that will plug up to this. And there's even a USB-C right there. Another plug. So there's a bunch of different plugs. There's a 12 volt outlet. And then you have just a normal outlet. You plug up fans to anything like that. So it's a pretty cool power device. And you can just carry it around too. Carry it while camping. Just take it with you. It's pretty awesome. You just hold the power button right here to turn it off. Pretty simple. It's a cool little power source. Well, she's not really excited. We just rolled into a, oh, draw my battery, Cave Spring, Georgia for a uh, motor. <laughs> A motorcycle get together and I'm hoping we're not too late we were gonna bring our motorcycle but I don't know if the La Honda Z50s are considered roadworthy we're either late or it's tonight or it was yet yesterday that's just, a, I think it's a swallow. I don't know what that, you know why they call them swallows? Because if you boil them, there's, and barbecue them, there's just enough to swallow. I don't know. So there's a few motorcycles here, but I know I saw a flyer. I mean, it wasn't like an airplane coming over or anything, but, so now we gotta go and walk it. Then I smelled the best smelling steak I've ever smelled in my life. Do you smell it? Yeah. It smells so good. Uh oh, somebody busting a move on their bike. You know, we passed, actually a motorcycle passed us earlier and they had a little leather saddlebag on the very back. Hang on a minute. So this motorcycle comes by like, like that one kind of and it had a little leather saddlebag right behind the dude. <laughs> she said, oh look, he's got a lunch box. <laughs> so I'm gonna, use that line today see if oh here's an antique store so there's more motorcycles rolling in so maybe we're just early i don't know let's go look at the steak linda marie's steakhouse on the square it's actually like a triangle more than a square but we're not sure we're gonna go find out here in a minute try out down here look at the antique store so we walked into this antique store and they actually sell antiques inside the antique store but there was i got confused we came in there's a sign on the door that says please close the door behind you so i looked behind me and there was not a door behind me and my bride said no you go in and then you close the door you went through behind you geronimo loves old cameras so i'm thinking about getting her that camera she's not with us i mean she's still with us but she's not here right now. It's only 12 bucks. That ain't bad. That's the way it happens. That's the way all the magic is done. So I won't uh, record a lot of this place. I just want to show it to you. We're out of the antique store. Right now is the motorcycle event, they said. So we're gonna go wander aimlessly and look, look at all Yamaha. Hi, Yamaha. We got the Yamaha. There it is. See, that's cool. And then the blue bike on the left up there is a uh, Suzuki something. They're always been traditionally blue and white, the TSXR, I think. And I could be wrong, but it's highly unlikely. I think we need to go up here and cross. This creek is screaming my name up here. So maybe there's more motorcycles up here. But I don't know. Now we gotta get across the road without getting squished. Told you I ain't crazy. Here they come. Strolling in. This is what we've been waiting on. The bikers to come cruising down the road. That's the group we've been waiting on. 
you've been to Cave Spring with us before. This place is pretty awesome. If I don't have to uh, be where I am, I'd probably live here and build a little shanty right over there, bathe in the creek. If it was legal. how long ago it was when we came here do you remember mm. or are you playing with your device i'm doing both you remember you you're out in public with me so you have to like give me all your attention okay Deal. i forgot what this place is this is the house Ash. hern academy oh, is that what it says didn't fall off that car right here no he didn't fall his dad went and got it circa 1910 it's not that old to be in such rough shape there's a private party they got a pony here comes a car here comes a car you know i didn't go back and make a correction to the last video i caught it cave springs i think it was two years ago. Maybe was three. it two years ago three years ago could have been more than two. i don't know I broke your lens, so I can't put your sunglasses on anymore for a while till I order a new one. And for some reason, even though they're made elsewhere, they're kind of expensive, so I'm gonna hold off. I like this place. So we made the decision to go in the cave. You don't know if I showed you this part last time, check it out. No waiting or fishing, subject to fine. Well, that ain't cool. Why can't you go out there and piddle? What if you identify as a goose? I think singular of goose is guy. No, that's plural of goose. I think. We made it in the cave. We decided to go. It costs a dollar to get in in case you want to go. So we're heading in. We will jam through this. I know you've seen this before if you watch my videos do not touch lights light fixtures or wiring you will regret it in case you forgot this is cave spring georgia I guess that's where you mark the wall. You put your hands in the mud and then mark the wall. Right there. You just dropped on me. This is like the USS Alabama, except in dirt. Look at these steps. Stay at the bottom, let me jam that and then I'll show. Yeah, you definitely need the old chain. Look at this. It doesn't go anywhere, this is just the top. Yeah. We made it. Up the mud slick and out. Got muddy fingers? Oh yeah, that's it, we're heading out. We're leaving the cave. Then it goes from 62 degrees back to 93. And we're heading out. Two miles that way. <laughs> we were talking to the fella in the cave. That's a cool looking dog. We were talking to a fellow in the cave. What did he say? I said, where's all the where's all the motorcycles for the motorcycle show? We were just talking about how peaceful area it was. He said, well, yeah, we put all them two miles down the road. <laughs> so that's why we're not seeing them. 
so there's the cave spring waterway yeah no i wonder if all these rocks were built by the what is it ccc ccc mm -hmm. probably yeah ccc what does that stand civilian for civilian conservation corps civilian conservation corps i ought to know that but i forgot and there it is if you live around here that's what you do although i bet people come all the way from rome or whatever and come out here to swim depending on how much the flights cost nowadays still on the hunt for the motorcycles they've run them out of town it's like wild hogs <laughs> i oh, think like the movie yeah i think even bikers like that movie that's a funny movie that is a funny movie there it is cave spring we went in there once we're looking for a restroom quick transition from cave spring to rome i'll tell you the reason why in a minute So we ended up in Rome Shop the pop up. because it was $25 a person to go look at motorcycles and that's all we wanted to do was walk through and look. It was kind of a motorcyclist only event I think. It wasn't like for the like general public so we didn't go. I don't know where we're going right now. So that's why we're here. I keep stopping the video because people walk by. And I don't want to have the camera like right in their face. You know, scream like that. Like pulling a Geronimo every few minutes. <laughs> so, we're here. I wanted to show you more. We're going to cross this road. I'm going to push this Louis Vuitton. They say if you push it a lot, it works quicker. Let's see. I'm looking for dates on top of the building. So far, that I've... Yeah, I saw that, but I think the Masonic Lodge, I think there should be a date on top. So you know you're getting old when you're looking for dates on top of buildings. Oh, we can cross the road. I'm just giving you a view of the streets. We're thinking about the bro house over there, music and grill. Brow house. There's a dead sled. Oh my gosh. That's the only way to go. <laughs> Get it? There were several restaurants that we saw. I'm leaning towards that one. Although there's another one. Yeah, we are walking down the middle of the road. But when in Rome. <laughs> oh, it's amazing how much Do as the Roman is. police tell you to do. It is a lot cooler in the trees, isn't it? Yes. What is that? What's what? Ooh. Hair structure. That's what I call my hair. So this is what we look like walking around with a camera. Sometimes. This is Anna by the River where friends meet. Wings, burgers, pastes, and chef salad. You want to try it, darling? Well, I'm good, yes. Good. They good? You want to try it? Oh, they got a cack on the top. Yeah, we're going to go in here. Let's see. If you want to partake, can you lead? Oh, this is itty bitty. So we left Anna's. We went in there and they said, Are y'all expecting to meet anyone to eat? And we said, No. They said, Well, this is where friends meet. You need to go somewhere else. So we left. We we're going to Mini Food Mart. Maybe not. There's Mellow Mushroom. If that was the last place on earth and I was hungry, I would eat there. I've had mall pizza better than mellow mushroom. That's going to offend at least eight people. Now, this is an awesome area. We'll get down there in a minute after we... Oh, look, there's people. Yeah, that is where we went. Harvest Moon Cafe. He didn't want to pay $25 either, but he's on a Triumph. Most of those guys are on the big bikes. They go... They are, I think. You're cute. 
here's another option called John Henry's. I'll be John Henry. You want to try it? You want to go somewhere else? There's Bistro. I think if it says Bistro, it's probably going to have stuff I eat. No, but it would be stuff that I would Let's eat. Let's go to the place with the tree coming out of the top of it. Oh my gosh, it does have a tree. I still don't see any dates. I know. I'm getting older. No. Okay, we we opted out of that one too because we opened the door and we were like the only person in the whole thing. That's not a big deal unless you want to be the only person in a big room eating. Chances are we're going to end up at Mellow Mushroom or at Gagitti's or the city's Cremary. Sure, darling. We're going to cross right here. Blue Water Aesthetics. There's something down there called Area 51 something. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I saw that. They said question everything. So I want to walk in there and ask them, where is there a good place to eat around here? If they don't mind. So it's like the... Uh, a cafe. Let's go to the Area 51 place. They should know. Okay. They said question everything. I guess. Option 477 Harvest Moon Cafe Dining Carry Out. This guy's missing a thumb. So let's go. No one with a fever or persistent cough permitted. Let me clear my throat. <laughs> okay, well, we didn't feed it. Not Mel Mush. Harvest Moon. We went to Harvest Moon. They're probably mad at us right now. We got our drinks, but we were in there like 40 something minutes and didn't get our food. So we bolted. We dropped some green paper on the table for our drinks and we had to go. It's too nice to be sitting around, but we only ordered like one burger. So we're done. That is the end of this video for Cave Spring along with Rome, Georgia. We've got another adventure before we leave here. So. High water mark, 1886. Oh, it's Where? Over. right there. Let's check it out. Oh, wow. This is supposed to be done. On this day, that's today. Yeah, April 1, that's today. Water from the Ustunua River, which is awesome because that one meets up with the uh, Etowah and forms the Kusa. There's a lot of odds going on around here. So anyway, that's impressive, but What's more impressive is getting back in our wagon and doing a drive by at McDonald's. Because we're, <laughs> we're yeah, I hungry. I'm happy with a little cheeseburger. I'd eat this thinking. Sorry, it's an old Southern saying. Thanks for watching our videos.
But before we go, I got to show you this. Somebody sent me this. And there's no way to no way to tell who it came from. It was $43.94. And it is so awesome. It's from Camp Craft Outdoors. Yeah, that's a dog. That dog just walked up. What kind of dog is that? Help me out. Is that a border collie? Well, so here's what we did with that there border collie. I'm trying to show this bag stop, Mr. Border Collie. If you are a Border Collie. This is a haversack, traditional haversack. This place, this website has some awesome stuff. This dog's name is Happy. She's already been to the veterinarian because she smelled so bad when she got here and she was so matted up. And I thought, okay, y'all know how much I love dogs. And this one is a little keeper color, color, color. It had a collar on it when it showed up. Now it's got a new collar. Sit down, Happy. So if you sent me this, please let me know. That thing is so awesome. The only thing I would change about it is I'd make it where it hung around my waist. It's like a heavy McAdoody. Awesome. And it comes with the coolest sticker on earth. Happy, show me your teeth. They said she's about two. What do you think? Does that look like a two-year-old tooth to you? Thank you so much if you sent me that. And thank you for the uh, the mosquito wipes too. They are on EA Junior's Herping Alabama channel. That's a dog. Look at me when I'm talking to you. There's a pretty little puppy dog. Show him your teeth again. I'll tell you what she does not like being put in the back seat of the wagon. Cause she's afraid. She got all nervous. She's afraid we was gonna like I guess dump her out again somewhere else. But she's here to stay. Unless someone claims her, then I'll give her back. But I've got a couple hundred dollars invested, so she's probably going to be mine. Thanks for watching our videos. Oh, yeah. Kids, I love her. Thanks for watching our videos.